How do you know when to take profits in a market? Now, for some people, entries is not the problem. Most people get good entries. They have a perfect entry, sniper entry. But they don't know when to close the market. Which point will the market reverse? This is a problem for lots of traders. And that's what we'll be delving into in this week's YouTube video. And we've made lots of videos concerning entries and a whole lot of other things about Forex. But today, we'll be talking about closing the trade, taking profits. How do you know that point that the market will reverse? Or at least an area that the market will reverse? And we're going to use this V10 one is as an example as you can see this is an, an analysis that i had with my mentorship students we found an entry for the market and we took the trade together i gave a free signal to them and also sent to the signal group but then one interesting thing is that i indicated the point where we should close the market and that point where we close the market i gave reasons why we should close the market there and then you see what happens after after a few hours while you how the market reversed from that area this video is very very important and i highly recommend and advise that you watch it to the end as there's great impact value that you really really benefit from from watching it this is Mick Deriva all we do is Mick Deriva don't forget to like subscribe and yeah let's go into the video yes so the, the take profits do you measure your take profits based on the the previous higher highs or on the previous trend lines that you drew or on the previous lower lows because you you gave us some take profits before how did you measure those uh, like, take profits. Yeah, take profits. Yeah. First one was first to this place where there was a rejection, and the second okay. one was to this place. Now, this market can even decide to buy all the way up here. But I think before it starts, that maybe there will be a little bit of a range. We'll still find an entry for it. It can't just shoot all the way up, you know, especially seeing that this was a huge sell. So that's why we just stopped at this area as a take profit, too. But the first one was to this huge place where there was a rejection so yeah sometimes it could be to the trend line take profits could be to the trend line or to the high highs or sometimes to the high lows depends on the distance on the trade yeah. please how do you determine uh i want to go back and tell us how you determine your tp your tp so for for a trade like this now in fact the normal tp for a trade like this should be all the way up 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 but we 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 are not taking that listing because of course this market can still decide to sell down here. A lot of things can happen. But the market still has to respect this one that it has formed. That's why our last take our last take profits is to this. Let's assume that this market just wants to close this up, this area. You can see there was a there was some kind of a level of rejection around this area, you know, and there was a breakout there, but there was never a retest to that place. So maybe the market is going to just stop there. That's why that place is our last take profit. But the first take profit is to this area because this market could decide to reach here and then start selling, forming here as a double top. If you understand, because of this area in, in H4, we saw it as a rejection, as a rejection candlestick. And that's why we have our first take profit here, second take profit here. But if this market wasn't a trend, if it wasn't this strategy that we used to get it, if it was maybe something like this and there was a trend of the market, we had the, okay, let's assume it was this, and we are getting the entry here. I take profit, of course, in this kind of area should be to uh, this uh, to this uh, candlestick, to this trend line here. That would have been the take profit, or at most to the last high of the market. So, if I mean you are you are, you you took this market here, if I mean you took this market here, your take profit should it should either be here or to whenever. As this one, you just want to hold forever whenever it touches this trend line. And how do you draw this trend line? You just draw from here to here. And the point about this trend line, like I said, is even if it touches, it can still break it in, it can still break into it and still be going for more buys. It can still break into it and still be going for more buys. So the take profit, you would have used it either this one at this area or you would have taken profit here. This was the place it touched the trend line last. And I doubt anybody would have been able to hold all the way there, even though it's less than a month. But yeah, but normally, what we normally do, at least to this place or to whenever it touches this trend line. So your take profit, but now because of this area that we are in, we are not we are not seeing trending. We are not. It's not like a market that is in a range in a trend. So that's why we are using support or resistant areas as take profits. But if it's in a market that is trending, we use the trend lines as take profits. All the same support or resistant areas as take profit.
Can you see how the market reacted? Exactly that point where we say that the market would reach for its second take profit before reversing was where the market actually reached. Now, that is, that is one thing about take profit that is very, very important. You should know when to close the market. Some people could get good entries like we did. You can see that our entry was a sniper. This was our entry. And then our closing was also at sniper. This is very, very important in trades, knowing when to close the market. So you don't just take a trade and then your entry is going all the way up. There are some trades that require me holding for days, holding for hours, holding for months. I've held the trade for more than two months. It's currently showing. I did I, th I did a video on that on YouTube and also on, on my Instagram page. So some trades require things like that. It's called swing trading or day trading. Why some trades just require you to scalp for a bit or for you to just reach at a particular level. And we did it so well here. That's why I decided to share it with you so that you can learn it. Like I keep saying, this my YouTube channel is dedicated to traders who want to learn the real trading. When I stayed trading Forex, I didn't know anything about price action. I didn't know anything about analysis. I was focused on indicators and all, and it made me lose so many money. And now that I'm a profitable trader, I have dedicated myself to making sure that people learn the actual knowledge in Forex. And that's why videos like this are coming. We produce videos every week, videos that help traders increase their trading career and make them better traders. So I highly recommend you to subscribe to this channel. Go watch some of our old videos. You can't be a member of this channel and you're very mean on all the things we're saying and still be a bad trader. No way. I'm here now. I'm not asking you to come to my mentorship group or anything. I'm asking you to watch the videos on this channel and it will greatly improve your trading career. This is Mick Deriv and all we do is Mick Deriv. Thank you. No, I shouldn't even thank you for watching. You should thank me for watching. <laughs>